If you've been watching my videos, we've been doing the sales and the promotions like we've been talking about, and we've been doing some phenomenal money. We just did $4,000 in the last two days over the weekend. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to show you some of the items we sold just over this past weekend or so. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've run some sales across the board through thousands of items we have. And we've been hammering all of those watching the items that we have on sale. It's been pushing our sales through the roof this past week since we started. It's something that always happens every time we do this. We're going to show you just a few of the items that sold and netted us $4,000 in just two days. So if you've been watching my videos from the last week or so, you know I put some of the items on sale. What that does for us all the time is bring in a lot more offers, a lot more views. What you want are the people watching the items so you can send out offers to watchers. People that are looking at them are interested at least to some extent to have clicked on and looked at the internal aspect of your listing. So they weren't just window shopping by flying through and sorting through random listings. Now this one sold to someone who accepted an offer on another item. They bought this one as well to combine shipping on them. So not only can you sell them to people when you send an offer to a watcher, they may buy more to save and combine on shipping, especially if they're watching multiples of your items. Now we've been selling a lot of buttons. This is a New York Department of Street Cleaning uniform button. I took 50 on it. Perfectly happy with that. Anybody who watches my videos for any length of time knows my pricing structure on most everything like this. Now here's a lovely Santa Claus die cut. It's nine inches tall. It's only about that big. I've had some that were monster size ones. Now these I always price very high and I just let them run. This one's been up for close to two years. It sold for $200. Again, if you know my pricing structure, you know where that falls into my scheming for what the price states on there. I'm fine with the 200 on this one. I've got like five bucks into this one. I bought a bunch of these, like 20 or 30 of these at a sale for five bucks a piece they had no idea what they were they were mixed up with some newer modern day ones but these were every bit victorian 1870s ish you can tell by the designs the style the artwork the construction the whole works just an excellent example two hundred dollars again is a good price on something like this here's a couple of thermco blue spirit filled lab thermometers these sold for 50 bucks each now i think i got a dollar a piece into these i bought a bunch of stuff like this some lab equipment from a, I think it was a Craigslist sale or ad, maybe a year and a half ago or something like that. Again, I don't care if they sit for a while. I don't care at all because this sort of thing sells routinely. So if I wait on something a year or two, who cares? I've got other things selling the entire time. This is up. And usually when I list stuff, I sell three to five percent of those items the day they go up. So again, this has probably been paid for over and over again. Now, records is another area I do very well, and we sell a ton of records every single week. This is the Herbie, and this is a female psych group. Um, it's an oddball one. Now, I took 75 bucks shipped out on this one. It's been up for a little while. I'm not too worried. This was a dollar or less purchase. I think this one actually came from a thrift store while we were on vacation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, V1, yeah, V1, it's a vacation disc. Bought this while we were on vacation, so that's where the number comes from at the top there. Excellent sale. No worries at all. Now, memorial items I sell also. Just by looking at this, the black border around this designates this as a memorial item. If you look and run into a lot of vintage paper, almost all of the vintage, like say a death notice or a memorial card, even up into the 1910s and 20s, have a black border like that around it. And this is for President Garfield. The flag is at half mast because of him, his assassination at this time. Honored dead. Uh, it goes into some detail on the back as well it's got his name on the top and the whole works now i took a hundred bucks for this one here originally had it up for 175 bucks again i'm not worried about the price i know what i have into it which is almost nothing so at a hundred bucks i'm still making even after all the fees and everything said and done close to 75 bucks profit on this item you can't go wrong on something like that when you only have pennies into it 
And as you can see on here as well, it's one of the 28% off. So I got a watcher. I sent an offer to the watcher. He sent me a counter. And then I accepted the counter from there. Again, that's that's the way this works for us. So if you're ever having sales issues and you have some good items, some good images and titles and such forth, you got good keywords, but you're still not getting a good traction, send out a small sale. Sales and markdown through eBay. It doesn't cost you an extra dime other than obviously the discounted price. You'll get some watchers and then you send some offers out to those watchers. It garners you sales pretty darn quickly immediately for many people within the hour of doing that here's another button now this is for the Haynes automobile company very scarce manufacturer this would be circa 1910 if you look even on the face of the button here it's got sticks and levers there are no steering wheels present this is also made of aluminum so it's a really early button made of something you usually didn't see at that time frame this one we sold for two hundred and seventy five dollars I've got a few more of these so I will probably put them up in the next week or so some items like this you can't just throw up a whole bunch of them because the people who will be collecting them cannot afford to buy them all so if you want to get top dollar on some items like this you've got to stagger them out don't list them all at the same time for some items again this is by value of the items cheaper items I don't worry about but items that can sell for hundreds many times I will scatter them out throughout the weeks now this is another one that I sent an offer to a watcher I took 75 bucks on this one here this is a livery button it's a uh, half mermaid half dog or lion interesting for sure happy with the sale I've got pennies into any one of these here's a die cut and this one was sold to somebody who bought another one from me last month or the month before I think if you go back and watch a few videos ago of mine showing items that I sold you'll find another one similar that's who bought this one as well repeat business return customers on this one this one did sell for the $54 price you see 28% off was the discount I did. Again, if you know my sales and how I market and price things, you'll know where that falls into the range of what I want to get out of my items. Here's another button here. This is another offer to watcher. Now, this didn't necessarily come in from my sale, but it was still an offer to watcher. This was a $50 sale here. This is a Manila police officer's button prior to the Spanish-American War because it was made in Manila, basically. If this was a U.S.-issued one, chances are it would have been made over here at this time frame this is a real early one but again it's for the city of manila it's a police department uniform button made in manila as well again an interesting manufacturer name it's datable by that information on the back 50 bucks now one thing you may notice everything i'm showing is easy to ship easy to store easy to list i mean every aspect of every one of these items i'm showing you is quick and easy it's an assembly line process to get any of these up you can just flip through these and get them up a whole mess of them in an hour this is a very lovely engraved advertising for a beaver hat really nice spectacular card here winter styles from 1880 through 81 so this came out probably in the fourth quarter um, October November December era somewhere in that advertising the new hats coming out back in the day this one here sold for $61 plus shipping it's been up for a little while this is a 28% discount I got the watcher we went back and forth with prices until we were both comfortable with something very happy with that again I've got pennies into this card across the board now here's a really fine example of a Victorian die cut card and it's cats a lovely pair of white cats uh, but it's a clock in there too like a carriage or a mantle clock of sorts you can see the handle so it can be carried around or hung if need be on it really interesting one and this one sold for 57.50 it was an offer that I sent out to a watcher now these sorts of things I find pinned up on a wall many times or at the very least a hole where it was hung from a wall at one time it's basically a giveaway or something you could purchase to decorate so it's a wall decoration basically another button now this one I sold for 75 bucks I think I sent an offer to a watcher for 90 he came back at 75 and I accepted it on this now this is another interesting one this is an earlier one you can date them again by the markings on the back of the button uh, this one's got a very clear it's a very early marking as well 1810 through around 1860 this button was made for some family a crest a business or something along that line happy with the 75 bucks again there's pennies into this item here 
Here's another interesting button. This is a 19th century Republic of Honduras army uniform button. Really nice one, though, in all honesty. It's early. It's well made. This one sold for $62 plus shipping. So, again, I'm happy with the sale. Pennies into it. Now, lastly, is an item that I actually auctioned off. Now, this magazine has sold as high as over $4,000 prior to this past presidential election. Once the presidential election was done, the magazine price kind of plummeted again i paid nothing basically for it so either way that's fine i listed this one for 799 dollars and 99 cents as an open free auction and it sold for 1175 bucks with 12 bits it's already been paid for so this isn't going to be one of those sales that doesn't go through or anything else like that it's out the door registered signature everything you can imagine has been tied to this package as well this is one of those few rare oddball items that i do auction off occasionally the only other things that I tend to auction off are things I tend to get rid of. Things that have been up for a very long time and aren't really pricey. That's the last resort usually for me is to dump things into an auction format. I'm not one of those sorts who runs a bunch of auctions. Most of our sales comes in from offers to watchers or maybe a small sales and markdown promotion that I run through my store. Now this magazine as well, if I would have sold it last year, I would have done top dollar for this one because it was hot. It was in demand at that point. People were betting on some of the things that were said in the magazine as well. So again, once things happened, the price plummeted. So, and that can be the case with many items. When something's hot, that's when you need to strike right then and there. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.